you've been a very busy man, and you've been writing books and speaking about the need to uh, address addiction and trauma from a very different perspective. And I'm wondering, the last two years, something seems to have shifted in our culture and in our world, where all of a sudden, I'm seeing uh, people of all ages reading about trauma. What do you think shifted that all of a sudden, so many people are now reading your book, coming to your talks, interested to hear what you have to say after 20 or 30 years of writing and speaking without quite that um, reception? Yeah. Well, it's um, a phenomenon that's not restricted to me personally, um, I think this is a society in crisis. Mm -hmm. And um, one sign of the crisis is that people are getting more split and more um, ideologically hostile um, because they feel more scared and they become more rigid and defensive. That's some part of the population. But then other people are starting to ask what's going on here. Mm -hmm. And uh, the usual explanations. Um, just no longer serve us. Mm -hmm. So uh, the information that underlying much of physical illness or mental illness for sure, addictions, is trauma, is not new. Mm -hmm. The science has been accumulating for decades, but people haven't been asking the questions. Mm -hmm. Now people are starting to ask, what's going on here? Right. I mean, in the United States last year, you had, in one year, you had almost twice the number of people dying of overdoses as died in the, as Americans who died in the Vietnam, Afghan, and Iraq wars put together. Wow. In one year. People wow. are asking why. Yeah. And the usual explanations, oh, addiction is a genetic disorder, really? Then how come the numbers are going up all the time? These genes don't change in the population. In other words, people's curiosity and desire to know is catching up with reality. Yeah. 